Hello, 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 good people. Hello, good people. I am Dr. Holly Kelly, and this is Dr. Kelly's Perspective for Thursday, Thursday, the 20th of September. Oh my goodness, even the, the season is beginning to change and let us know, hey, we're in for a change. We're getting ready to transition here. If the seasons transition, surely, surely that's a key clue that, hello, we individually have to begin to transition especially as we wind down towards the end of the year. So I have named this perspective by example or command. Hey, thank you for all who are joining me. Good morning to all of you. L listen, I, I am passionate. I'm passionate. I know it might seem like I'm passionate about everything. <laughs> I'm really not. I have a few lanes that I stay in because that's where my energy, that's what I think of, that's where my passions lie. And leadership is one of them because I, I understand, not just intellectually, I understand experientially the impact that, that solid leadership, truthful, integrous leadership makes on a life, makes on a career. Entire trajectories of lives can change when you are under the helm or in the, in the midst of good leadership, great leadership. And so this morning, I, like I said, I've, I've entitled it by, by example or command. And when you lead by example, and listen, leadership, in any capacity, because leadership is a, it's a transferable skill. So I'm talking about in your home, in your family, in your marriage, in your classroom, if you teach, if you, uh, in your business, on your job, whether or not you are in supervisory or managerial position, leadership is influence, okay? And so even without a title, even without a title, many of you are leading. Hello, Danita and Vanessa and Pat. I see Pat out there too. Okay, so listen, when you lead by example, instead of by command, the impact is always going to be greater. It's going to have a longer lasting effect. It is a stronger impact to lead someone by example rather than simply telling them to get it done because you can. And I will say this, you may have the title, you may have the authority, you may have the, thank you, Thad, or one for joining on Periscope this morning. I saw that as it went up. Um, may have the position, the title, the, the authority, the responsibility to command things to get done. That's not the point. Because it's going to get done. If you if you have the platform, you're going to say it and things are going to get done. That's never the point. It got done, didn't it? That's never the point. That's elementary. Real leaders are concerned with, yes, accomplishing what the mission was, making the goals, achieving the bottom line. Yes, that's important. But right after that, or simultaneously with that, are you growing the person? Did you leave that person better, stronger, um, more challenged? Did they develop under you or did they just do what you told them to do? That's a responsibility that leaders have. So when I say, are you, are you leading by example? Are you leading by sacrifice or leading by command? Are you sacrificing? You're telling everybody to sacrifice, to come in early, to stay late. And they don't see you but six and a half hours a day, eight hours a day, when everybody else is pulling 10, 11 hours. Are you leading by example? Are you sacrificing? Are you going without when everybody else is going without? Hmm? Are you preparing? We have, we have um, accreditation coming up soon. And everybody is putting in the time to make sure everything is done. Are you tucked away in your office working on something else? Knocking out your school? 
<laughs> why everybody else is preparing for the inspection, preparing for the accreditation process. You're physically there, but you got your own thing going on. And everybody, every time somebody comes in to ask, it appears to be an interruption. Hmm? Are you leading by example or command? This just came to me. Um, in my shop, we some of us have in the area that I work in, uh, bonjour, and that was the extent of my French. So bonjour and oui, oui, croissant, that was it. <laughs> okay, so in my area, some of us have the standing desk that now, you know, ergonomics and, and um, OSHA are saying, these are the best desks, you need to stand, you need to stop doing so much sitting. So someone called me, because I had said earlier that, oh, I want one of these desks. Someone called me earlier and said, oh, man, we got a desk for you. I know someone is right down there in the warehouse and just say the word and I can get it up here to you. And I said, oh, wow, yes. And then I immediately went to my team and said, who all will be interested in standing desks? We're going to do this the right way. Um, not everybody, but the vast majority were inter interested in standing desk. Well, when I found out how many hoops you had to jump through officially to get that standing desk, I didn't have the audacity to bring my standing desk in here, knowing that the rest of my team could use, could benefit from the standing desk. And simply because I could have gotten my own, okay, will you lead by example? Or will you lead by command? Did I have a right to take advantage of that standing desk? Mm. That's even questionable in my mind. Because if I am leading, I'm not simply getting the task done, making widgets, passing the inspections, getting the accreditation, getting my students off to the next grade level. That's not all I am doing. Part of the responsibility that comes that is embedded, it is incumbent upon leaders is to grow, to develop those that are, that you have cog over. Those that are in your sphere, your area of influence, it is a responsibility to grow them, to challenge them, to not leave them in the same space. And that says something very clearly to me. If I had taken the disc, knowing that they needed and wanted them, but because I had the hookup, because I had extra favor with someone, and, and they were not going to be able to get them. No, are we leading by example? Are we leading? Hello, Michael H. Scott and Sister Roan and Mary Michael. Thank you for all who are joining me. Dread216 or Dread216. Thank you again for joining me. So my question to you is, hey, Miss CeeLo, my question to you is, my challenge to you is to look over every area that you have influence of in your families, in your jobs, in your positions, in the companies that you run, the schools that you lead. Are you leading by example or simply by command? Yes, there will be time and place for both. Time to lead by command. We'll have no, well, I'm not even about to explain some stuff to you. This is how it's going to be. Get it done. We got to get it done right now. There will be opportunities to just simply lead by command. The vast majority of our time should be spent leading by example. And if you're not willing to make the sacrifices, if you're not willing to go without, if you're not willing to roll your sleeves up, we're calling it a, everybody coming in on Saturday and we're going to work, then everybody needs to come in on Saturday and work. You don't get to go hide out in your office and finish a project while everybody out there is working. You commanded them. They came. But was there more respect for you afterwards? Okay, leadership by example or leadership by command because you have the authority and the platform to do so. Okay, so that's my question to you. Search that out. Seek out that answer in every aspect of your life. In all areas that you um, have influence on, are you leading by example or simply by command? Okay, that is my offering to you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me today. Share it out. 
And until next time, take real good care of yourselves.